Welcome back. We couldn't save during combat, so we had to minimize the game during that. And we're back now. In the middle of combat. Oh, shit. I forgot. Ah. That's bad. Oh, this is not good for us. Yeah, I don't know where the 60,000 viewers came from. Maybe my mom paid for me to have friends again. Let's fire on that guy. Not great. Could have been better. Can you resurrect someone with the dart? We're gonna kill him all this turn, so go ahead and resurrect him, I guess. So he can fire. Alright, Jiggles. Let him have it. What the hell was that? That was like nothing. That was such a tiny amount of damage. Okay, one down. Mmm, we're over there. Mm, we can't hit that guy. But, clown car can attack. <laughs> um, Quan. What? Okay, we got action points back. Go ahead and attack that guy. Not quite. Okay. Clown car. Do it. Mm, I should be able to finish him, but she's got a lot of shots left, so let's let her do it. So move over there. Do special shot. Yeah. How it's done. Got him. Nailed it. I had 61,000 viewers, I wish. There must have been a glitch in the matrix. Drool flesh, pheromone sack, drool rags. Drool flesh, the flesh from a drool, is this, it's skinless and looks like freezer bird meat. Drool rags. Tattered rags worn by drool. They're stiff with frost and age. Attable and Jen with those resubs. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Frozen heart. The heart is, per is per perfectly preserved in ice. It's ancient. It hasn't been it hasn't beaten what must be centuries. It's, in it's inexplicably radiates frost. Must belong to the first lady. All right. Let's... Look for the. There's a chest. Yep, over there. Ah, uh, who knows? Might have been a glitch with the Star Trek thing. Who knows? Ooh, lots of ammo. Tons of ammo in med packs. Good. Very good. All right, let's go back on the road. Main story-wise, where we've only done one of three objectives. One of four objectives. And we have a bunch of side stuff to do, so we're very early still. We're taking our time with this game and having a blast. It has been so much fun. BB gun. Burly woman leans her head out the window of a marshal's assault truck. Rangers, name's BB gun. Glad to meet you. Hey, you guys been really getting the job done, but listen, we've been doing a little civil forfeiture and we need to turn some impound into cash. Interested? Can you give me free shit? I like that. And before you answer, here's a free sample for being such a friend to the marshals. Police ornament. Now, you want to see the rest? 
That's always such a weird question. Like, how far in are you? I like, I don't know. I haven't beaten it yet. <laughs> um. Thanks for being such a great example, BB. The, the marshals are teaching us so much. Aw, oh, thanks. I'll tell the others you said so. Yeah, I need that rep. Hello, Ko. Um. Civil forfeiture means you took this stuff for suspects, right? Were they all guilty? Huh? Oh, yeah! Guilty as hell! Oh, I bet they were. Trust me. Every one of so them. So guilty. Yeah. Guilty of having too much money. Fair enough. Better than fair, Rangers. This is some prime shit. I will, uh, slide my morals for some sweet ass gear. I mean, that's just how it is. Any tips for policing in Colorado? Don't let anybody tell you they're innocent. Ain't nobody innocent in Colorado. They're all guilty of something. If you look hard enough. Oh, that's very kind of you. Um. All right, let's see the stuff. Let me open the back. I'm gonna have to do an evil playthrough of this at some point. Um, abrasive spray, armor, resistance. Eh. No, quick slots, nice. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the quick slot item. That's actually very useful in the guy that has the quirk that makes him lose a quick a quick slot. Full choke. Mm, I'll take a choke. It's only sixty nine dollars. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, I'll take that. And I'll take that. I think we're running low on bullets wise. Hmm. This is a little bit more energy of that. Very expensive though. Jeez. Energy ammo is so much more expensive than everything else. Hmm. 50 cows also. Very, very expensive. I'll buy just a little. And. A few shotties as well. 20 ought to be a good amount. They ran out of ammo during that one crazy guy's place with all the fire people. That was one long ass fight. Um, we'll top off our sniper rounds too. Alright. I think we're good and everything else. Sell a drug. Alright, I kind of went in reverse. I went to Aspen first instead of Denver, so Denver ought to be real easy. It's only level 9. Oh dear. Uh, you find a crate in the snow. Looks like it's unlocked. Open it. Stuff's pretty mediocre. I'm used to it. Ambush. Some folks say drool used to be human once, and all they want is to share the warmth of your fire. You wish those folks were here now, fighting these d fucking drools. Um, use your knowledge of the flora and fauna of the wilderness to escape. Drools are ordinary cave dwellers. They hate bright lights. You turn on the Kodiak fog lights, and the drools sleep, uh, shrink back, wailing. Time to punch the accelerator and jet. Don't get out of that one. Okay, the paint mines are over there. Denver's up there. I kind of want to get Denver done so I can... So that we can... I, I know, I went I went to Aspen first on accident. I don't know why. I, for some reason, my brain was like, Aspen, that's next, right? And I went all the way up there, did Santa's workshop at Aspen, and then Aspen was... was a non-stop, brutal fight from start to finish. It was... It was rough, but lots of cool uh, lore in there, though. I liked finding all the little tidbits about the patriarch in there. Well, now we're going to Denver, which should be way easier. Way, way easier. 
Is that the map? Yes, this is the world map. Which is really... I think this is such a cool way to do a world map. Where you can't scroll in it. You can only see things that, as you uh, come across them. Uh, disarm the trap. Disarm the trap, and it looks like I shouldn't have bothered the stuff is boring. Bunch of junk items, I guess. Yep, you get random encounters, sometimes random treasures on the side of the road, like that right there was a random treasure. Let's play a melancholy one now, okay? A song about love, loss, and moving on. Mm -hmm. A song to touch the heart. Loud. Oh, there's distortion. Roadblock. As you enter a, a wooden ravine, something makes you uh, slow the Kodiak. Movement, a noise, a flash of light. Maybe it's just a feeling, but the night seems darker now. The hair is rising in your neck. Uh... Trust your instincts. Go cautiously. You crawl ahead in low gear, eyes starting everywhere. It gets darker and darker. After a tight turn, your headlights flash across two big metal structures flaking the road. Structures? No. Robots. No, there's steps behind the Kodiak. Their servos whine as they lock their guns onto you. An amplified voice tells you to step out of the vehicle. You don't really have a choice. Uh-oh. This game is a fantastic RPG. I've been loving it. Oh, dear God. All right. Light him up. Wow. And I thought Colorado trash was sad. You made a bad deal, Rangers. My father's using you for cannon fodder. Go back to Arizona before you take a bullet for him. The graves are cold up here. Oh, shit. And on your way home, tell him to hire a better class of spy. Um... I wasn't expecting to run under her yet. Uh... Um, mm. I think we should just say, mm, this is a toughie. She's got some serious robots with her, though. All right, we'll deliver the message. Ha! Spoken like a true lap dog. Why do you want to overthrow your father? Because he's taking too long to die of natural causes. Colorado will die before he does if someone with some vision doesn't take control ASAP. And that's not either of my brothers. You think your father is killing Colorado? Are you blind? He's letting a crazy cowboy cult control our oil production. Our main trading hub is run by a bunch of idiots and monster masks. All that should have been state-run ages ago. We... am not. Whoops. I accidentally clicked. I forgot that they advance automatically. You don't think your brothers are fit to rule? Ha! I can see you haven't met him. Vic's a depraved child, and Val's a brain without a spine. I wouldn't trust either one to run a mess tent, let alone a country. To think of all the years my father wasted grooming them for glory when I was right there. God. The sooner he dies, the better for Colorado. He's the perfect puppet for some usurper like the Gippers to put on my father's throne and claim he's the legitimate heir. Of course, killing him would piss daddy off. And you ass kissers wouldn't want that. Might be the only way to get him out of Denver, though. Those Gippers got their hooks in him deep. Um, what else do we know about Victory? Shoot him before he talks. Your sanity will thank you, and you'll be doing Colorado a favor. Not that it'll be easy getting to him. He's got his followers hooked on some kind of hypno-happy gas. They'll do anything for him, including die. 
I just thought she has like a thing on her neck. Okay, we're done here. You can go. Ha! Thank you for your permission. Squad, roll out. Yeah, we will deal with her later. Um, because right now, uh, she's a little tough. Yeah, we'll deal with her. I'm gonna pop a cap in her face. Citizens of Colorado, this is your patriarch speaking. The Colorado Marshals are the bulwark that protects our borders and keeps us safe in our beds. Mm. If you believe you are strong enough to stand against the darkness and savagery that assail us from all sides, then join us. It would be an honor to have you at our side. Visit your local marshal station today and ask them what it takes to join. And make me proud. All right, let's go to Denver. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the Denver ruins, not just full Denver. All right, let's go say hi. I tried to find the Patriarch at level three at the beginning and that, that didn't go well either. Well, there is a, apparently if you cheat, you can, um, you can beat him and they have a special surprise ending. Uh, if you do, that's it's like a joke ending. Session. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere. Uh oh. At ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Oh dear God, they are not worshipping Ronald Reagan. We respectfully request an audience with the God President to negotiate on behalf of the Patriarch. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Um, present the accused. Are you fucking serious? That is a talking statue of Ronald Reagan. I've heard about this thing. Some kind of sentient super weapon, so watch out. Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? Sorry, God King Reagan. My bad. Um, your God is awesome. Thank you, but please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Co -co communist? Communist? Uh-oh. No one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. Don't say the C no word around him. Uh, sin no more. <laughs> Fools, the gods of the sky will devour you. Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. 
Sorry to keep you waiting, uh... but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the Shining City on the Hill. Oh my god. <laughs> that is such a deep statement there. Uh, the Shining City that's on the Hill, wow. Um, you're married to a statue? Why did you kill the helpful robot, not the psycho who skinned your commando? First of all, I didn't kill it. Ronnie did. Second, the will of the God President is not to be questioned. If he spares one sinner and not another, there must be a reason. Now, if you still want to discuss Valor Buchanan, come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We will receive you in the sacred server room. Good day. The sacred server room. Jelly beans! We haven't had any visitors since we piled the Patriarch soil. You're the Rangers, right? Meeting God President Reagan is a great honor. Congratulations. Yeah, I'll be right back. Wow, the Desert Rangers. We don't get many famous folks around these parts. You're getting the VIP treatment, too. Meeting the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? Hmm. How did you and Mother Nancy make that statue kill the communist robot earlier? Huh? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the God President. Ain't that right, sir? <laughs> I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh my gosh, Nancy Reagan. Oh my god. Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Wait, that's the actual God President? We thought he was inside. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place. But the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. Robot helped your people. Why did Reagan kill it? Well, because the robot was a commie, obviously. But you never know with Ronnie. Last week, he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. It's all part of his plan, though. I know that. Hmm. <laughs> Mother Reliance said the godfisher attacked your troops. Why set her free? Ronnie set her free. She's one of them crazy godfishers. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or... Something like that. Ugh, disgusting heathen nonsense. It'll all go when we finally cleanse this place. This is Ronnie's land, his oil. We ain't leaving. Not for cannibals, call me computers, pinko robots, or filthy plain savages. Not for anyone. Those godfishers seem a bit too close to comfort. Need some help ch chasing them off? Yeah. Well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kind of do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile. And Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight them. So, well, if you're looking for a paycheck, a Reagan ornament and money. Don't worry, we'll save you. I told you we don't need saving. We just... Oh, let's just change the subject. What else do you need? So your name is Nancy Glory. Your boss is Nancy Reliance. Why are you so many named Nancy? We take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife. Back before the deluge of fire. 
It's the greatest honor a woman can achieve, being a Nancy. <laughs> a Nancy? Almost sounds like someone saying Nazi with an accent. A Nancy. I love my Nancy. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. Use a rebrief on the Godfishers. The Godfishers? Sure. They're the crazy cultists who kicked so not very neighborly neighbors. If you know what I mean. Take care, Glory. You too, Rangers. Thank Don't you. Forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Gipper loyalist. Kim. Hi. Well, hello down there. Hi. Looking forward to seeing you inside. Right. This is... That is weird. Temperature warning, system throttling, endangered to avoid environment harbor damage, please defrost heating elements. I'll repair that. Okay, uh, let's see what's in the container. A new well, dirty cassette covered in sheen of oil, and then human teeth. Terminal uh, 303, temperature warning, low power mode and engage to avoid hardware damage. Please defrost heating elements. Upgrading this terminal could increase the Reagan statue's combat effectiveness. Sabotaging it could damage or destroy the statue. Hmm. We'll wait on that for now. I'm not sure about these Reagan god worshippers yet. Hi there. Hold, heretics. Before you step into our trap. You have a trap. Are you the godfisher whom Reliance released? You have fine ears. I hope one day to send them skyward so they may delight the gods of the sky. However, first we have a proposal for you. The mechanical giant known as Reagan kills our faithful, delaying the harvest. You have access to the Gipper's inner sanctum. It has three glowing hearts known as terminals. You will destroy these terminals so we may sweep across this land, making gifts of flesh to the sky. In return, you may pass through our camps without fear. We will not harm you. Um, so, these people are even more crazy. They want to make flight, uh, kites out of human flesh to, to sacrifice to a sky demon, like. Help you kill innocent people, not a chance. Gods of the sky, forgive them their foolishness. When their flesh feeds you, they shall be redeemed. Oh, there's a bunch over there. Oh, 
Where does that go? Looks like that goes around the backside. They both seem really crazy. Whoa! Careful, partners! After we shut down the East Freedom oil field, some godfishers set up shop there. The Nancys are gonna clear them out after Mother Reliance finishes her big project. Ashley, we're gonna clear them out. Na Nancy Glory sent us. Smart cookie, that Nancy. Keep your skin off. I'll be heading back then. Can't believe I just talked to a real desert ranger. Hell yeah, oh. you did. The one and only, the true desert ranger. Oh, there's so many over there as well. Yeah, the choices are hard because everyone seems freaking crazy. 